Asia Wilson Tiffany Hayes and head coach Becky Hammond speak after the Las Vegas loss to the Chicago Sky. Check out the video. To tie the game in 77. Heading into the break, how important is it for this group to kind of have an energy boost like that to have others other than the core four to kind of lead that charge down the stretch? I mean, our bench has always been picking up a lot of slack that we as the starting five has been putting out there. So um, it's always been there, but I think more so of just like the energy shift, I think we kind of needed this uh, to kind of wake us up a little bit, to kind of tell us that, no, we have a lot more work to do because sometimes when you're winning games and you're streaking out a little bit, things get lost in the sauce. So when you have games like this, uh, where it's kind of like you get senioritis, uh, it's kind of helpful to kind of get punched in the mouth. And I think we kind of did that today. And so when I, when it comes to our bench production, they've always been probably the most consistent thing that we've, that we've been going through this season. So we appreciate them and we lean on them a lot. Uh, so all, the threes, the, the things that they do doesn't come by a surprise at us because that's who they are. Um, so I guess it is an energy shift and it'll continue to be because that's what they're going to be. But it's, it's on us as well to not put them in that predicament uh, we have to do a lot better job of being just locked in on both sides of the basketball. But I am truly grateful for um, – I don't even want to call y'all bench players because y'all aren't, aren't just the pros that we have that come in and get the job done and do their job the right way every time. And to 18 turnovers in that first half. Ooh, even when we got – 18, like 1-8 or 18? No, 18, 18 turnovers. Teen turnovers. Oh, teen. bet. I thought you said 18. I was like, like no wonder that we got our ass kicked. <laughs> Okay. No, 18, 18 <laughs> turnovers in that first half. Even when you guys made that 16-0 run in that second quarter, did it feel like you guys were playing a little faster than you guys typically want to? Uh, I don't think so. I just think we were trying to make make hero plays, and mm -hmm. we we didn't do the simple things right. Uh, you can't you can't try to do those hero plays, and as they pile on to each other, that's where all the turnovers come. We just needed to do the simple things. Uh, stay down on defense get defensive stops, and then let the offense come to us, and that's where those turnovers came. So, uh, like I said, just keep it simple. Asia, last time you matched up against this team in Chicago, uh, you had three players yourself along with uh, Jackie as well as uh, three players over 20 points in that game. Can you pinpoint uh, defensively what they were doing tonight that, that maybe was uh, effective, especially against Kelsey when it came to uh, the offensive output for your team? Uh Honestly, I don't know. That's probably a Kelsey question. Uh, but I, I think just coming from what I see – it didn't really have much to do with their defense. I think it just had a lot to do with our defense. We, everyone in this room, we say it all the time. We play out of our defense. So when we look shitty on the defensive end, we're going to look like pure garbage on the offensive end because that's just not, that's just how the game pays us back. Um, but I don't think anything defensively, I feel like KP was getting to her spots and then the amount of shots that she would knock down and I will bank on her knocking them down every single time. But it's just, I think, when you're constantly taking the ball out of the hoop and it's just like, it's just a mental thing. Like it, it's hard on that when you want to get a stop and you can't get the stop or it's a bad bounce. Like the defensive side is somewhere that we really need to lock into because that's where we can fuel our offense in the system that we play. So I don't think it was any scheme that Chicago was doing that was like, oh my gosh, I think it was just more so on us. Like it was just self-inflicted. So despite the loss, great game for you tonight. What was working for you? I'm sorry, you said that fast. What did you mean? Sorry, despite the loss, great game for you tonight. What was working for you? Uh, whatever they were giving me. That's that's been my role all season, and that's the role that I've I've been taking on. And um, just just finding the seams, the open seams uh, that left me wide open. I knocked them down. Uh, finding the seams, driving and kicking, that was working. Uh, we just got to do a lot more of of that to uh, make sure that we don't get down in the hole. And like she said, it starts from defense. But for me. I thrive off my defense, so that's what mm -hmm. kind of got me going today. Over here, a uh, question for each of you, if that's okay. Uh, Tiffany came up limping towards the end of the fourth year. Just in general, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. How are you feeling? Nice? <laughs> you she got to go back on the beach. Oh, no, you got to go from here. <laughs> See you there, girl. And for Asia, um, last year the Aces were the best first quarter team in the league. This year, down to seventh right now. Oh, seven? That's not. I thought we were going to be twelve. Right. Sorry. Um, from your point of view, what did you see that's happening in these first quarters leading to these slow starts? Oh, I mean, teams are just coming out. And they want to punch us in the mouth. I mean, I would want to do the same if I'm going against the defending champs. And I think we are uh, two times. Excuse me. Yeah. Why would I cut ourselves short like that? Um, but no, they're just coming out. I mean, they're 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 coming out with the first punch, and so we have to understand that that's coming. I think sometimes we get caught off guard and sometimes like today's ago in some sense that we're like, oh, we're always going to be in the game because of the talent that we have. But that's not necessarily the point or, or 
the case because this league is really, really good, obviously. So I think we just really got to understand how to take that first punch and punch back um, and not let us ridiculous. I, I can't remember the last time. Like, that is, that's awful, but it's on us. It's a lot of self-infliction that we have to overcome. But I think the biggest thing is just we we, are, we aren't ready for people's first punches. We'll figure it out. Give us a couple of weeks. We'll figure it out. Right now, we have to have two more counties. Um, for you, Asia, when Kate Martin went down yeah. and the team kind of surrounded her, it just seemed instinctive. You put a towel under her head. Can you yeah. just kind of talk about that reaction in the moment and what goes into how you handled that situation? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to take care of my rookie no matter what. Um, it could be a knee scrub. It could be anything. Like We're going to take care of her no matter what because uh, she's a, she's one of us. She's she's our sister um, and someone that we're going to always depend on and count on. But at the same time, cameras be getting in your business. Uh, and we don't want that. We don't need that. Um, so we try to protect her peace, her mental, and just her emotion. We shouldn't be afraid to show emotion because we're like, oh, my God, we're going to turn into a meme. We're like, cameras just don't give us privacy. And I get it. That's their job to get the shot. But uh, I think for us, it just kind of cut on that we're going to protect her at all costs because you never know uh, what the internet or what people may do. So my thing was making sure that she was just good and understood that we were there for her. Uh, for both of you uh, going forward, just the ex what is the excitement and feelings on you know heading towards Paris? Go ahead. Oh my God. Um, uh, I gotta give myself 24 hours soaking this loss, but. I'm not going to lose sight of how much of a blessing it is to be an Olympian. Um, and just to say that I'm, I'm two times at that, that's that's truly a blessing. And I'm just grateful for the moment. Uh, I think I know it's going to be way different than Tokyo, obviously, because it's not COVID anymore. Uh, but no, this is going to be a big moment. I'm so glad that my teammates are going to be there as well to experience it because this is big for us. Like I said, it, it, they may not no, it's necessarily us as the aces, but when you're saying you're Olympian, they're like, oh, you're pretty good at it. So it's always good to have that on your resume and to go out there and just take care of business and keep the main thing the main thing, but also just like Becky was telling us, enjoy the experience because they don't happen often. So I'm, I'm cool. Going to go to Phoenix and tackle all stuff. <laughs> but yeah, once we get to London and Paris, it should be fun. <laughs> Same. <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for more idea. <laughs> Thank Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all. Good job, Oh, shit. First question to Becky. Mm -hmm. Coach, what was your message to uh, the team after the game? I mean, at no point in that game did we deserve to win. Could feel it the first. I mean, I called the timeout with a minute 10 into the game because you could just feel uh, they weren't in the gym. Well, they weren't in the same gym I was in. Becky, eight, eight and five at home this season, six total home losses over the last two years. Are you noticing a, a shift in energy or, or team style of play when they're playing at home this year? I think we're a little more selfish at home. Got our friends and family there. Everybody want to be the it girl. Man, I mean, I, I the the first quarter especially, um, but I can name certain instances down the road where we have one sh one pass or no passes, chucking up shots because everybody wants to be the one to get us back on like. I need them to resist the urge to when they're like, I got to do more. I, I, I do less, actually get off the ball and get your teammate a great look. And there was none of that. We had no intentions of getting anybody else a shot other than ourselves. Every time we got the ball, we held it and looked for ourselves first. And then if we were stopped, we, we used the pass as a last resort. I don't think it was until about 440 in the second quarter that we actually looked somewhat like a team. Um, we got a brief update on Kate Martin. They just said lower right leg. We know that she couldn't come back to the game. Is there anything else you can say about her status and just kind of your message to her? No, you just told me more than I knew. I haven't talked to the medical staff. I know she's freaking tough, so I don't know how bad it is. Uh, 
but she's a tough cookie for her to not come back. I I'm hoping for the best. Oh, uh, you mentioned that from the time out the first quarter there. That's for you a little bit of like this you've won with the team. How do you kind of balance those quick timeouts to say, hey, wake up versus letting them work it out, trust them to figure it out? Um well with the first quarter specifically, it's kind of becoming a thing for us to just be behind. Spot a team 15 tonight, 21. Like those are hard to, holes to dig out of. Um and the lack of care, the lack of professionalism, the lack of want to. And you all say you want to. You're looking at me and you're saying, yeah, we want to. But you're not doing the little things that show me you want to. You know, you fumble all the little things, you're sure to fumble the big things. And, um, but we've, we've had a trend in the first quarter. And that trend is getting our asses handed to us and then having to dig out. Jump to Zoom, Matthew, and then Jordan. Hey, Becky, I was wondering, going into this break, what are you looking, what are you trying to do and look at to help to not only improve that first quarter, but just improve the start of games and improve the mentality? Is that something you can try to do differently, or is it just they have to come in with a different mindset? Our mindset has been missing most of the year. Um, if I'm being honest, um, from training camp. Uh, that being said, you know, we, we, we started to hit our stride a little bit, um, strung some, some games together that we could feel good about. Um, we still feel like we've had a long, even if we have won this game, we still feel there's a lot of things that we can get better at, um, defensively, especially. Um, so, you know, unfortunately it's going to be a long break for us. It's not the way you want us to start out, but I cannot tell you, and this doesn't matter if it's NBA, W, these last games before a break, how many times a good team loses? Like, they just, I just seen it on too many levels, too many times. Um, and we fell prey to uh, checking out too early. We didn't come in with the appropriate mindset at all. Jordan. Hey, Coach. So I know this isn't how you wanted to close out the first half of the season, but going into the Olympic break and into the second half of the season, first of all, what are your specific plans for this break? And secondly, like kind of the similar question you said before, like what are the specific details you're wanting to tackle to approach the second half of the season to get that momentum back? Jordan, you think yeah, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing? <laughs> um, I'm going to spend time with my kids, uh, some family, and uh, be doing some work. Probably go back and look at every game we've played thus far. Go back to the drawing board. Um, I'll go over to Paris for a bit to uh, catch some games. Then we'll be back here. But... Um, Obviously, they're going to get some time off. Everybody will, except for the Olympians. Um, and then when they come back from Paris, you know, it's just going to be trying to get them on the right, you know, time zone. The, that, you know, it's not like they're going over there for two, three days and you never really get adjusted. They're going to be over there for three, four weeks. So um, the jet lag aspect is going to be real and it's not like, you know, you're going back to New York where it's what, like a six hour difference or something. It's nine. It's a pretty substantial difference. So um, as much as we can rest them, obviously, I think, um, you know, our, I actually think our, our bench were a little banged up. We could actually use some rest, um, but then we'll get back in the gym and we're going to look, we're going to do it basically like almost like a mini training camp. Um, reboot, uh, recalibrate. And more importantly, reset the mind because the mindset has to be there in the second half where we're going nowhere. Thank you. Is it? Is it a good night? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.